This is a quick video showing that you do not have to remove your bumper all the way to replace your to take out your aux fan. I loosened up the bumper bolts. I'll step back so you can see. And I just pushed the bumper out a little bit. Uh, let me show you the bolts that come out of that bad boy. These are the two bolts that hold the bumper together, and this is a pre facelift uh, sedan. Coupes and facelift E46 cars are totally different. So, on the pre facelift sedans E46, you just take these two bolts out. You also want to remove what I did was remove my fog lights and this bumper trim that goes in the front under the fog lights. Once you get those out of the way, you can access this bolt right here. Um, and these are nine milliliter, mill, milliliter mm bolts. Um, so you can just get a ratchet and remove those. You definitely need um, like a clicking ratchet because it's going to be a lot of turning on this to get these out. And well, one more thing: these don't come out right away once you loosen the bolts. You're going to need um, like a I needed a pliers to sort of grab it and yank it out from the from the car from the bumper. You have to yank it down or it'll just like stay in there um, and it's really hard to get out after you unscrew it. Just yank it out with pliers. Yeah, actually these are the pliers I used to have. And once that's free, you don't even have to disconnect your horn. That's the connection for the fog lights. Um, that's actually the um, the hole that those 9 milliliter bolts screw into. Push that in the front and rest it on a shoebox so it doesn't get scratched on the ground. And remove the, this front plastic bit. It has uh, four bolts, four little screws that hold them, hold that to the car. They're really hard to take out, so and they're plastic. So what happens? They tend to break. I broke the other two in half, taking them out. These are the only two I have left. So I'm gonna try to use this to reattach that to the car um, until I buy, I guess, screws. You're gonna need like a paint scraper to pry it out um, because once you remove these screws, it's still gonna be attached and it's gonna be wedged in there. So have one of those and once you have that off you can access the fan the fan bolts it's four bolts I have pictures up to show and once that's out of the way you could start pulling the fan out and the fan kind of comes out you want to be careful with it because I'm planning to sell this one back on eBay online or wherever so I'm not gonna try to break it taking it out also when the replacement fan comes in I'm we put in an electric fan in I'm deleting this I already took out the mechanical fan I'm gonna just put in the uh, electrical um, fan from an automatic uh, from a manual car they come standard on manual cars but you could also do a fan delete which is what I'm doing so I'm deleting this aux fan and I deleted the engine fan in place of one electrical fan the fan didn't come in yet that's why I'm doing this I'm getting this out of the way already got that out of the way I'm also replacing my alternator the oil the filter gasket housing the filter that goes in that and and that's it for right now but this is just to show you that you do not have to remove the bumper you don't need three people or two people to remove the bumper. I did it by myself it took me about an hour to do this um, like a minute to do that one and another minute to do that so an hour I spent just basically figuring it out how to get those two long bolts out of there because once you unscrew them they're just gonna hang there you have to pull them out with needle nose pliers and that's about it it's really easy to do this um, one more thing a lot of people are replacing doing the fan delete by just deleting one fan and leaving this in there I don't recommend that a lot of people don't recommend leaving this in there because it blocks the airflow to the radiator for the um, electric fan to um, to work properly so I don't recommend leaving this in there because this is kind of harder to take out uh, when doing this um, doing this DIY um, the mechanical fan is easy to take out but a lot of people tend to leave this in there because it's too lazy to re remove the bumper they don't know how because not a lot of information is online about how to remove these bumpers and like I said the coupes are different facelift and pre facelifts are different and pre facelift coupes and facelift coupes are different too so you want to keep that in mind um, a lot of information on the internet you can find. I found how to remove the bumper on pelicanparts.com, but there's also write-ups in the forums on how to remove various bumpers from various years. So you do not have to remove the entire bumper. Like this side is still attached in there. And I did take the corner lights out so I could see what I was doing because the bumper actually slides onto these brackets. So you don't have to remove the headlights. I know some people are saying you have to remove the headlights. You need two people. You have to pull it out all the way. You have to jack up the car. I didn't jack up the car either. Um, I reached under the car to remove the um, 
the skid plate that's usually on there, it takes me, um, it's easy for me to do because I've done it many a times in the past. You don't really have to jack up the car to do that or put the car in jack stands. Um, but that's the only reason you'd have to jack up the car to remove the skid plate. But you don't really have to. You don't have to remove your headlights. I don't know. I think the coupes or the facelift cars, you may have to remove your headlights. But in the pre-facelift, you do not have to remove the headlights. I just only removed the corner lights. I don't have to, but I did it because I wanted to see the brackets that the bumper slides onto. So when I put the bumper back on, I could see how it's sliding back onto that bracket. And if I wanted to adjust the level of the bumper, like if it's sagging, I want to bring it up a little bit. I could, um, there's little bolts in there. I don't know if you could see with the video. I could uh, adjust that bolt by raising and lowering the bumper. You could also adjust the bumper with something over here. I think it's one of these guys to adjust the height of the bumper. If your bumper is previously sagging before you, you took it off like this, but that's it. Once that's out of the way, I'm just gonna pull this pan out. And remember to disconnect it on this side as you pull it out. And it's just gonna, uh, let's see if that connector is still in there somewhere. Yeah, so this connector is gonna pull out. When the electric fan comes in, I think this connector connects to the new fan. And that's about it. And this goes to the DME that's gonna regulate that electrical fan um, based on engine temperature, this connector. So when you get the new fan, it's very important you connect this to the new fan or it's not gonna work. And there's also another little connector here too that you might wanna, um, I guess connect or put in somewhere when the new fan comes in. So keep that in mind and that's it. Oh, before I go, I'm gonna show you the uh, the mechanical fan. I took this out a few days ago. It's middle of November, it's like 20 degrees out here. So it's kind of cold, I'm wearing gloves. But you see that, so I'm gonna sell this probably with the shroud. So that's the um, viscous coupling with the blades. Um, it's still pretty good condition. My car has low miles, so I'm kind of lucky that this was still intact. Um, there's no damage in that, but I'm gonna store it upright and ship it in this uh, this box that came with a Christmas wreath. So you see that there. So that's the mechanical fan. That's the aux fan that I'm taking out over here. And it's like 20 degrees out here, and I did it by myself. It took me about an hour and a couple of minutes. But then once I get that out, I'm gonna have to put the bumper back on. And that's it.